I believe the most common way to apply for jobs as a software developer is also the least effective way. And that's what I call going through the front door. So we'll talk about that. And then we'll talk about what I think is the most efficient way. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. What I mean by going through the front door is, you know, going to a website, clicking on careers, clicking on jobs, and applying and submitting your resume that way. And I think that's how most software developers apply for jobs. Now, I can't go into tremendous detail as to why this is bad, because look, I've never worked in an HR department at a major company that sees all these resumes and applications coming in, so I can't speak to that. But I do know it's almost never worked out for me and all the other software developers I've talked about, it rarely works out for them. Like, it's kind of common knowledge that this is probably the least effective way. And you know, your resume gets put in there, it gets through some scanner thing that picks out keywords, and it's just, you know, who knows if you even get seen, right? So I highly recommend not going through the front door unless you absolutely have to. So what's another option? Believe it or not, Twitter. I know some of you just clicked off the video right there, but hear me out. I see these tweets all the time. I'll put a bunch of them up on the screen where people that are doing the hiring are posting the job on Twitter, they're asking their network for retweets. I see this all the time. And I believe this is the most efficient way. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of those tweets, all they're tweeting is the link to that job posting that I told you not to do and you go fill that out. So if you're gonna run into that just as a warning. However, there are a lot where it's maybe the hiring manager themselves that are posting the job and say, hey, DM me if you're interested. So you can get a DM conversation going right with the hiring manager. Now, if you're a random person on Twitter, you might not have much to go on. However, if you have a great iOS developer portfolio, maybe a great personal website, or your GitHub uh, account is awesome, not just with cool repos, but your repos have good readmes they can check out that are very visual, very descriptive of what you built, right? Having an online presence, again, whether it's portfolio, website, really helps when getting job interviews through this method. Right, because you just DM them, say, hey, yes, I'm interested. You know, give a quick little introduction, click to your personal website or your developer portfolio. They're absolutely clicking that link and checking it out. And if that portfolio is impressive, you're gonna 100% get a, at least a phone screening, right? And the whole point of this is to actually get in the interview process. Once you're in the interview process, well, then it's up to you to impress and continue on. But you didn't go through the front door and get rejected right away. And I know it's crazy to think that like DMing people on Twitter is how you get jobs, but I've hired plenty of people that way. Here's the tweets where I've hired developers and I've seen it happen all the time. So if you're not active on Twitter, get active on Twitter, get involved in your community, have a great online presence. And when you see these job postings go up all the time on Twitter, you can act on it, jump on it. And it's a much more efficient way to get in the interview process than again, going through the front door, which is going to the website, going to careers, hitting apply. I just rarely heard that working out for anyone. It's, it's usually knowing somebody or, or this DM Twitter route that I've seen be very successful. But like I said, a key part of that success is having a great online presence. And that brings me to today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is a great way to get that developer portfolio up and running. Now, of course, if you're watching this as a web developer, of course, build your own website. But me, I'm an iOS developer. Maybe someone's an Android developer. Maybe someone's, you know, AR or machine learning, right? Not everybody's a web developer. And even though we could build websites, it might not be worth the opportunity cost of our time, right? It takes a lot of time to build, maintain a website for all the different screen sizes, all the different browser compatibilities. So I recommend for non-web developers, let Squarespace take that completely off your plate. They have all kinds of beautiful themes, so your website's gonna look great. They handle the SEO and the analytics for you. So when you're ready to build your developer portfolio or personal website, go to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Sean Allen to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So that's my recommendation. Uh, avoid going through the front door if you can. Do your best to network on Twitter. Keep an eye out for those DMs. Have a great online presence, a developer portfolio, personal website, great GitHub profile, that kind of stuff. Give them something to look at and be impressed with. And that is a much better way to get in the interview process.